GCU head coach Carl Smesko and student athletes Erica Nelson and China Dow. Coach, would you like to make an opening statement? Uh, yeah, obviously a, a great win for our program and uh, a great effort by every kid we had that got on the floor. Uh, they all contributed in a big way to this success at different points during the game, and I'm proud of them. Thank you. We'll now be taking questions. As a reminder, please begin your question by stating your name and affiliation. We'll begin with questions for the student athletes and then move on to questions for coach. Dana Caldwell, Naples Daily News, Fort Myers News Press. Erica, thought you played an outstanding game today. Thank I you. thought uh, the defense was the best I've seen it all season. Would you agree with that? Yeah, um, I mean, throughout the game, we knew what player that they were going to emphasize, and um, we tried to just focus on that. And then she did an amazing job tonight, but we took everything else away from them. So when you focus in on one player and nobody else is scoring, and all five of us were, it's hard to beat us. China, every time uh, they, they tried to make a run at you, you were able to fend them off. Uh, you were able to uh, dominate, frankly, a team in the paint somewhat, uh, stay even with them on the boards. Uh, don't have a single six-footer on your team, and they have quite a few. How were you able to do that today? Um, I think with their post players being in foul trouble, they really couldn't jump because it's risky. So if you're going in, at first they was blocking our shots because they wasn't in foul trouble. But once they did get in foul trouble, we was able to attack the basket and they, you know, softened up on defense. So it worked out for the best and we were just finishing. And we knew they was going to go on runs, but like we just tried our best to stick with it and stay in the game. This was a 12 seed beating a 5 seed, but uh, it didn't really look like an upset to me. Did did you feel very confident coming in, did you, and do you feel like this was an upset today? Uh, no, because at the end of the day, we do belong here. And, you know, we're just putting our name on the map to let people know that we're not just a soft team, a mid-major team. We can compete with the best of the best. So it was a big win for us. Missouri's a good team, but we pulled out the win. Do Young Park, Naples Daily News. China, especially coming out of media timeouts and stuff like that, you're over out on the sideline riling up the fans. Uh, 4,000 miles away from Fort Myers, what did it mean to you to have this kind of support from the people coming out? It means a lot. Our fans is a big part of our program, and they get us going. So if you want to stay in the game, you keep our fans going. I don't care how many fans other people have. Our fans always make noise. So shout out to them for making, you know, making their way down in Cali, and we can just have fun and enjoy the California weather for a couple more days. Any more questions for the student athletes? Thank you so much. You two can head back to the locker room. We'll keep Coach here for a few more questions. So now, questions for Coach. Hey, Carl, I'm going to ask you the same thing I just asked China. Uh, this didn't look much like an upset. Uh, I know you're always not super pleased when you get a 12, 13, 14 seating. But, but anyway, do, do you look at this as an upset? And do you feel like, uh, you know, the quickness and – and the sets you guys run would be able to offset what, what Missouri likes to do, as well as you guys were able to do today. Well, it's an upset in terms of seating. And, uh, but we definitely came in with the mindset that uh, this was a game we can win if we executed at a high level. And uh, a big thing that we emphasized was, you know, the, the last four times we've been here, we've performed well. But at the beginning of each game, there was like a sense of a little bit of uh, nervousness or tension. And we never got off to good starts uh, because I thought there's a little doubt, are we as good as the opponent? And so we made a real emphasis this time to let our team know, hey, you belong here. You're just as good. It's going to be whoever plays better today. And it, this was the first time that from the jump ball, I thought we were all in and, and believe that we could get it done. Coach, due to foul trouble and a lot of other things, you ended up having to use a lot of different players matched up on Cunningham. And it looks like toward the end, you settled on China. What did you like about that matchup? Well, that was actually Coach uh, Lyle's idea. Uh, you know, we uh, had Rose on her. And Rose was making her work. Uh, she was hurting us with post-ups for a while. We were guarding her well on the perimeter, but we were slow to help on the post. Um, 
so we actually I put Ty on her for a little bit, but then Ty got lost on a screen and we gave up the three to her. Uh, so that was Coach Lyle said, hey, I think we need to put China on her. And I was a little concerned because China fouls a lot, and I didn't want to have to put China on the bench. But And, you know, it's a lot of effort to be chasing Cunningham around and then guarding her in the post. And you got to be the first one back because she runs out in transition. But uh, all all the credit for that goes to Coach Lyles. I definitely wasn't leaning in that direction, but China did a great job on her and, uh, you know, really helped limit her scoring down the stretch. Carl, I thought the uh, two keys in this thing were, uh, one, turnovers. You just had seven with a couple of minutes to go. You had a couple at the end, but just nine for the game. They had 16, uh, 20 to five in points off turnovers. And also, you guys were really able to hang on the boards today. I thought those two things were key. If you could expand on that just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's always the biggest key is you have to find a way to try and win possessions. And the, the possessions are how many offensive rebounds uh, and how many turnovers you have. Uh, so we know we're at a disadvantage rebounding, so all five of our players have to be contributing on those defensive boards on every shot. And they all know that that's their responsibility. And then we have to be better with the ball than the other team because if we're going to give up a few more offensive rebounds, we can't also have a few more turnovers and expect to be successful. Any more questions for Coach? Thank you so much, Coach. Well, thank you, guys. Go Eagles.